Okay, hey y'all. So this is Kelly and everybody who's been following my journey from the pit to the palace. Okay, I made it to the palace and let me show you what I mean. I'll turn it around. I made it back to the club, y'all. So for everybody that's been praying for me, thank you. For everybody that has encouraged me, thank you. For everybody that has had a word in season and even out of season, thank you. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. I am here. I made it to the promised land. God is faithful. I tell people to persevere, endure, and I'm going to tell y'all something. I haven't been on here because I've been on TikTok. So because I am actually um, on TikTok ministering the word of God. Um, Feeding God, she doing great things, you know, in the kingdom. And I tell you, when God moves, he moves. So it started on August the 6th. What ended up happening was I was ministering the word of God. And the Holy Spirit told me, stop and pray for these people. Because everybody's finances was like, he was like, how are people going to come in here and worship me when they have issues with their finances? Meaning that people had bills due, they were uh, struggling. And uh, and God said, it's going to be hard for them to focus. And I said, okay, Lord, I'm going to be obedient. When I tell you, it was, I can't even begin to tell people the, the massive explosion that happened in that room starting August the 6th. It was amazing. And every day he named a day. August the um, 8th was um, payback. August the 9th was payday. Um, the 10th was, um, I can't remember every every name of the day, but today is all of a sudden. We're on day 11. And when I tell you, you've been in their prayers answered. People have been healed, people have been delivered and set free. People are coming on and enjoying the journey. And then, you know, just teaching people, God's people, you know, how to worship and you know how to see God and how to abandon the world system and the world's way of doing things. And I know it's kind of loud, but you know, when you're in New York, you might, anybody might just stop and just, you know, a place of music. But I mean, just to actually be here and, and you know, to see and, and, and Oh, excuse me, y'all. I got food. Food in my braces. I'm sorry. I mean, to actually see God move in that room like that and to know, and people have been praying me, praying for me, and believing with me to get over here to New York, y'all, because I, I had got stuck in New Jersey for a second. And the Lord said, I did not call you to Jersey, Kelly. I called you to New York. And he said, it's time to go now. Your wealth is waiting on you. And here I am. And you see New York in the background, y'all. Look at this. I am my daughter. That's my daughter. It has been, when I tell you, an amazing journey. And this is to encourage people who are waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, I'll be 58 years old tomorrow, August the 17th. I was born 1966. And when I tell you, I waited 53, uh, yeah, 53 years for this. For this, Because I told my mom at five years old, I was moving to New York. My mom looked at me like I was crazy. But I'm here. And I wish to God she could be here to see me actually experience New York in the, in, in, in the moment of the now. But, I mean, I just, you know, if, if you want to follow me, come on over to TikTok. And, you know, go come into our live sessions because they are, Jesus shows up all the time. And when I tell you, he is wonderful. Oh, my God. And, you know, I haven't been recording in here because I have been so busy just recording in TikTok. It was just blowing my mind. So, what he was trying to teach us was this. Every day is today and to call things to be not as though they were. And what he was telling us is encouraging us to say, listen. Call things now, meaning that don't say, oh, I got that by faith. The Lord said, absolutely not. He said, tell him, tell the tell the earth man, this is what I have now. This is happening now. Don't say later, say now. Don't say I got it by faith because you got it because you're speaking your words of faith and you are believing God for a miracle to transpire and to transform your immediate surroundings. So speak what you what you believe now. Because I started saying before I moved on, I said, I'm in my apartment in New York. I'm in New York, I'm in New York, I'm in New York, and I am actually here. So, and that was just two days later. So I'm just telling you, stand on the word of God. This has been an encouragement to me. It's been an encouragement to people. People have been watching in real time as I go from the pit to the palace. They've, they've been watching me and the journey and their, their lives have been inspired by you know, how God is moving in that room and he's using me as a blueprint saying, hey, you know, uh, follow her and she follows Christ. I'm just saying that. But you know, I give all glory and, and honor and praise to Jesus because it is nothing but him and it's nothing but the Holy Spirit. And my Abba Father, oh my God, Lord Daddy, thank you in Jesus' name. I tell you, I cannot say thank you enough. I will continue to post now um, because there's just so much to share, so much catching up to do, but I'm here. And uh, the stage is 
for now. I love y'all. And you guys, um, when I make my first stage announcement, come out and see me in person. Because uh, I will be teaching about the power of a book that is written about you in heaven. You need to know that there's a book written about you in heaven. I'm walking out the book that God wrote about me. And I have come in the volume of the book that is written about me. And he wants you to do the same thing. He wants you to come in the volume of the book written about you. So just get the agreement with God. Know his purpose for your life. Know the plan for your life. And I'm telling y'all, you all are going to be stretched. But you will thank God later. And let me just give y'all another view of what I'm looking at. Do it. I love y'all. See you later.